so you will be having for windows 64 bit you just select the path and one important step you have to click the check checkbox add python exe or sit there down the path will be there add python exe to the path one checkbox will be there you have to click that and give install did you get that yeah So you'll be having add Python 3.12 to the path. You have to click the checkbox. Did any of you have noticed that checkbox? Yes. Sir. Okay. Actually, it will be unchecked. And we, you have to check it. It is very important to click that. So please let me know once you have installed it. It takes few minutes only to install it. How many of you are downloading here? Uh, it's got, it is done. Yeah. Only one, what about others? I think they are doing. Bharat, you are doing? Uh, actually, I'm not in the desktop, so uh, I'll do it later. I'm noting down all the uh, steps. How, how does it look after downloading? Can you see this? Uh, Madhu, you are done, seems right. <coughs> yes, yes. So when you all when you all have done, please give me a word. We'll just proceed with the next step. Yeah, done. So okay, then once you have done with the exe and uh, once you have clicked all the checkbox and installed, you have to select the path. By default, it will be in C column only. So once you have downloaded, we'll just proceed with the others. I'll just show you, you just see here, uh, you go to command prompt and type CMB. So you will get a command prompt open. So we can see from here if Python is installed or not. Any of you, so you're getting like this. So Python 3.11.5, this is my version which I have installed later. So for you, it will be 3.12.2 something.
Will we open command prompt and do what then? Yeah, command prompt and just type Python. Okay. CMD and you have to just type Python. You have done? You got this? Yeah. Okay. So with the command prompt will be like this. So you will be getting, once you have installed Python in your system and you have to go to command prompt and you just type Python. So you will be getting Python and the latest version that is installed on your system. So these three symbols, no, these three greater than symbols. Okay, so these three symbols are the Python symbols. So it, it is like you are in, now you are in Python code. So whatever you type, you will get the output also. Just very, very simple. I'll just show you like if I, whatever I type, I'll get it as an output. So if I give two and give an enter, I'll be getting that. So if I give two plus two, four, it comes as four. Or if I give four minus two, I'll be getting two. So with numbers, so whatever input I'm giving, and if you just press enter, you will be getting the output. Very, very simple Python starting basics. And so if you want to type anything in strings, no, so what if, will I get the output or not? Anyone can answer. So for numbers, if I'm giving two and I'm pressing enter, I'm getting the number. So what if, if I am typing something like Python, and if I press enter, will I get it or not? What will be the output? Any idea? Anyone? So will I get an output or anyone can answer? Just yes or no? No, I don't think so. It's not clear. I don't think so. Don't know your telling. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. It will give an output. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. Actually, I we won't get. So the main rule in Python is strings. Whatever strings we are giving, it has to be in quotes. It either it can be in single quote or it can be in double quotes, but it has to be in quotes. So if I give Python in quotes, and if I give enter. I'll get an output or same if I give in double quotes, sorry. See, so the basic, very, very basic of Python is numericals. Numericals can be given without codes. Strings, whatever strings are there, compulsory we have to give in quotes. Either it, either it can be in a single quote or it can be in double quotes. But it has to be in quotes. Strings has to be in quotes, for sure. It's okay. And one more thing, one more option is also that print. Print option. So whatever we are giving in print, it prints the output. So the syntax is print. If you say if I want to print hello world, and uh, print is the keyword for Python. So print means it will print it. It will give it as an output. So whatever output is, whatever you wanted to get it on your screen as an output, you have to give it inside the print. So print has to be in open quotes and closed quotes. So now if I give print, so see, now I'll be getting hello world. 
in now this print i can give in single code also same same hello world if i give in single code also i'll be getting the output see hello world but the thing is compulsory it has to be in quotes say if print if i give number what will be the output see two the thing is number number for uh, for numericals we don't want to give quotes but for uh, strings compulsory we need to give quotes either it can be in single quote or it can be in double quotes so this is the basics of python and then print whatever you wanted to print it on the screen that you have to give it with the keyword print it has to be with open code and close quotes so if you are giving numbers you can give without quotes if you are giving a string it has to be compulsory with either single code or a double code so is it till now is it okay yes okay uh lakshmiya is asking some question uh, what is the question somebody raising the hand lakshmiya right is it by mistake or uh, okay go ahead kartik yeah so next um, shall we uh shri krishna like shall we download uh, spider now yeah yeah keep one i id yeah uh, go ahead with the spider yeah yeah because we need uh, okay so now we will download another uh, id that is very important so we'll we'll take spider so whatever python programming and for further uh, learnings and all we can't do in this command prompt small small things we can do but for further proceedings we need an id so that we call which we saw on the powerpoint no like uh, integrated development environment so we will uh, download spider spider is one of an ide for python Can you all see my screen? No, so Spider download Spider for Windows Eleven. Are you all noting this? Yes. 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 Huh. Yeah. So please. go to the spider ide.org so in this go to download just come down you will be having download for windows please click this is it getting downloaded Just run the exe. If if it is getting downloaded, if it is if the download is over, just run the exe. You have to click I agree. You'll be getting. You'll be having a checkbox. Another option also you'll be getting there. There will be like. Um, two options will be there for installation one is just for me and one is all users for this computer so just click all users for this computer click next and go with the installation are the steps clear
there will be two options okay There is some uh, error message that I am getting when I am running the exe file. In, in, in Microsoft Defender is... Something. You have downloaded the exe and when uh, executing you are getting the error? Yeah. What may I know what error you are getting? Some pop-up is there I think. Uh, Microsoft Defender Smart Screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Uh, if possible, can you show your screen, Dawal? Yeah, just a minute. I got the same error. Uh, just click on it, you will get another button run anyway. You can share your screen, I can guide you. Yeah, just a minute. Just a minute. Can you see? Not yet. This is okay. Can you share your screen? Yeah, just one. Mm. Yeah, uh, click on more info. Yeah, and click on run okay. anyway. Yes, that's it. Oh, okay. Path will be there default and now C colon only C colon program files. Just click next and finish button. Just give a word once it is finished. Mansi uh, is it not downloading for you. Okay. So, what is the problem? Like, uh, we have internet connection proper, and uh, what are the what are the issue you are seeing?
ओके गुड आई थिंक I think most of the people done uh, this spider installation, right? Are you able to open spider now? I think if you are able to open the spider, I think from there Kartika will explain. Yeah, what, like uh, yeah. today we'll just open, we'll see. We'll see and we'll write one Allo World program on the spider and then we'll call it off. Just opened. Spider. In your command prompt, you type "spider" and you just click "open." It may uh, take take few minutes first time to open, so it will be taking few minutes. Has it opened? Uh, Double, you are able to open? Uh, it is not yet downloaded. Okay. okay, okay, yeah, please download. Round, we'll wait, no problem. Yeah, it will take time. Yeah, first time. Yeah, I first time. Uh, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will have some desktop icon oh, okay. or uh, command file. Uh, I don't. I think because of space constraint, will it take time to download? Yeah, yeah. It will take little time in the first time because uh, backend it will have uh, the compiler and that visualization support. There are many packages are attached to it, so it will take little little time. Oh, oh okay. But it is one of the thing that is where we are going to play all our like write our all the programs and see how is it the outputs inputs and everything right so we can have it there so that's why it it is insisted to have that one yeah okay what about others Bharat uh, Nanda Madhu you are able to have it right. So the installation process is yet to complete uh, for me. Okay, Pawan Kumar done. Uh, and uh, who else? Venki, uh, uh, you you have it done huh, already? Yeah, I am installing it now. Yeah, Installation is done. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Krishna, this is Srinivas. So, oh, you are done? No, actually, you know, uh, uh, I uh, I joined in the middle, so I'll catch up tomorrow, Krishna. Because okay, uh, okay, no uh, problem. Uh, you yeah. you try to download and keep ready that uh, yeah sure uh, that spider S yeah. spider and what else now spider only now spider only okay uh -huh, uh -huh. I mean before that I think I did install Python in my system ah uh, anyway okay. I'll verify yeah 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 thank you okay.
Has it opened? Actually, first time when you are opening, also it will take some time. Spider. The download is still not completed. Oh, it's downloading. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll wait a uh, little because once that is done, we have to do our all programs one by one there. So, um, what about uh, Vaishnavi? The two Vaishnavi are there, okay. Vaishnavi D. Spider is important to proceed further. So let's finish it off today. We'll just wait. And uh, the same thing also can be carried out on the command line also, whatever initially uh, Kartika was explaining, right? The same thing you can carry out there also. But um, over the time when we are writing more and more programs and all, right, keeping track and all those things will be difficult. And uh, parallel you can, like, uh, if you are doing it on the IDE, the debugging and other things become little easy, okay? And uh, requesting all the people, uh, like, uh, be ready with your laptop or desktop something. Uh, if you are just listening to this class and running away or going away means it doesn't make any sense. Okay. Because we are practicing more and we are actually working on the programs and not only this, even next level things, right? Even Power BI or statistics or uh, SQL and everything you need uh, laptop or PC or whichever you have. Don't attend through mobile and just uh, keep it aside. Th there is no use uh, with that. You make your hands dirty with the by running some programs, passing some commands and all. Okay, make a habit of spending some time with the coding or commands. Or when you come to the Power BI, the Power BI even you need to play with the dragon. Even though it is a drag and drop kind of stuff. There also you need to understand what to put and what not to put. So you definitely need laptop and all. Uh, make that arrangement. Uh, uh, so I think hope you understood that part. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, for those who have installed Spider, please open it. No, you you have to go to command prompt. I mean, down search bar, type Spider and open. Yeah, it is open now. Has it opened? Yes. Okay, so you can see the screen. No, left there is a partition, left side and right side. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can share screen double or you can uh, Karthik either anybody can open and show that so that others get that what is happening. Screen, uh, yeah, so 
the left side is where we'll be writing our code I'll just close it it's or dismiss huh okay mm, yeah so the left side we'll be writing the code and the right side can you see python 3.8.10 so this is the version and you here you'll be getting the output oh okay uh, so the file the first one you can see on top it is open opening a file and opening a new file and the run symbol yeah the green one uh, fifth one yeah right so once you have to write the code and if you run that you will be getting the output on the right side so shall we write a program now like print just write print a small same print uh, hello world F5 or you can press run. Run, run the file. Just give the first time, no? So it is asking like that. Run, okay. So hello world. So this will be the output. And here this is, it is an short form also and it is very fast more than compared to command prompt so once you type print and open bracket you will be getting the quotes by itself right so can you please print two plus two or some other anything whatever you want you can just just enter it will come to next line yeah print Uh, run f5 f5 or you can give run no. so can you see hello world and four both the lines will get printed yeah so how many lines are there those full lines will get printed oh, okay so any uh, this this is the basic setup of spider and how we be doing the further codings here So is this clear till now or in any doubts? No. Uh, okay, one uh, input here is that we can, we, this is a spider is one thing, okay, the uh, one ID, like this PyCharm is one other ID, VS Code is another ID, see there are many IDs are available in the market and everybody uses even uh, whatever uh, that java famous right eclipse like there also we can do python coding anywhere is one one setup is required okay you can do directly without doing anything also command line also you can do command lines just in writing it in a plain plain or flat what you call plain uh, notepad file and uh, executing on the command line that is also possible but having it is a some uh, uh, some id is the handy okay so you can write the program and cross check the the output immediately in any one of the id but we are uh, like uh, using this spider is coming with the this anaconda one tool is there in that uh, part of that it is we are getting it so we are using it if anybody is interested to use other id also welcome but uh, during this course uh, time right we will be like uh, as long as this python is running we will use this as a one common tool uh, if you are interested to use something else okay uh, go ahead with that also okay yeah uh, Vinky, you are asking some question so if we want to get only one statement executed how do we comment the other one yeah there we can select that one and do that uh, there is a line is about is there no we can select one thing and about uh, yeah that part yeah Achha, okay uh, that only one thing we can get one line we can get yes mm -hmm. okay okay uh, and in the right side, this partition is there. No? We can have other partitions also. That's some partition only symbols we can debug symbols we can keep. And uh, the this uh, right side uh, one partition is free, right? There we can see data. <coughs> if you are uh, uploading the visual like complete data, right? We can view that data there. So there are other facilities also come with this uh, spider. Uh, me me uh, other IDs also we have that kind of facility. Of course, we'll as we go on, we will get to know 
how to use more and more with this okay okay i think um, all are good to good to be at this junction at this juncture i think we are having the uh, the spider and this thing ready right so next step is that uh, one book is, book is pdf book is shared in the group okay in the whatsapp group you pick that book so there the first exercise is written like uh, the setup and all so we are done the setup we are using one command line is one thing explained by Karthika and this spider is explained by Karthika. So from here we need to run the several uh, what you call that uh, programs. So you start executing all the programs like depending depending upon your capacity, capability or availability yourself, right? So it all I think up to most of the programs are just like four liner, five liner, three liner, but it explains one concept. Like the first program is hello world, how we are printing, whatever the printing is done, it is done here. And the next level is that um, how to use the comments, how to use the uh, uh, but basic construct, right? Like uh, when you are running the command line, how to we how to give the argument uh, and how to pass a parameter how to do that but the small small things are explained very well so you just execute that code and see if and uh, we tomorrow we'll see what where all we stuck and uh, how uh, what you call how we are progressing if you if you follow that book all the exercises and all the exercises given that we need to take that code and type here don't copy okay if you are copying i think you are uh, uh, missing a point there like how, how is really happening there so just to type at least give that effort okay Co uh, what you call uh, type that uh, whatever the program is mentioned in the text size and bring out a result there so then we can uh, see how it you will you will come across some questions yourself like uh, where it is really halting or where is where it is really uh, some questions you will get yourself while executing it. Sometimes it won't run because of maybe either we are giving some wrong way of or uh, sometimes this uh, whatever the spider or Python version may be changing or like that kind of questions you will get to know. And uh, sometimes you will also get some uh, thought like it can be given differently also like that is also possible. So it is a kind of little play only but start executing that all the exercises one by one and we will ex we will discuss that exercise only tomorrow and till this uh, Python course. Mostly this week we will finish that all the exercises mentioned there and after that we will uh, I will I already collected some external programs which are not from the book. So once we are done. I think we are good to stop with the uh, Python, okay? And the next week we'll go with the uh, SQL or other things. Maybe you may feel it is a little faster, but this is how we have to move on, okay? Okay, so any other questions, team? Uh, the basic code from the book uh, will it be compatible to only one IDE or uh, it is across any, all IDE? Any any IDE any even if you are running on the command line also it will work. Yeah, done okay. from my side. That is that that will work. That should work. If not, we need to make uh, make it work. Okay. If small small while typing or something, right? We may use some different characters or different uh, special characters and also. So just be hands on with that. Okay. It is not very tough actually. It is very simple. But only thing is that you need to really take that out and uh, type it and uh, see output how it is coming and all. Okay, that much only. It is nothing more. It's very simple. Yeah, sure. And don't uh, run away from that. As it is very simple task and all, right? So just to try to and more thing. Uh, first of all, the more important thing is that here you need to give the time to that. Uh, uh, half an hour you give or 10 minutes you give you need to focus on that and get it complete otherwise right uh, there is no point of spending one hour here and uh, just if you are just listening as a spectator also is not good so just uh, take that out and uh, run that program and keep it ready and all of you requesting to have minimum what you call laptop or desktop or something and uh, start executing that uh, thing and uh, you will see the difference okay yeah, okay you. team today first first day class and don't miss tomorrow class anyway so i have one uh, sentiment that uh, if somebody is missing second class means uh, they are never going to learn it anywhere okay 
even if i am missing you can pull me into the call okay <laughs> kartika is missing tomorrow like you can pull call us and we can attend that class if at all any other urgency comes also but don't miss on second day second day missing means are almost gone okay okay then sure yeah thank okay. you okay okay yeah thank you thank you thank yeah. you thank you thank, thank you, you krishna thank you. thank you kartika bye thank you